Hello, I'm going to be talking through some of the sales copilot features that are available within Outlook. I'm going to be showing these features from the web client of Outlook, even though these same features are available if you're using the desktop application of Outlook. So here you can see at the top of my inbox, I haven't read it yet, but I have an email from Brandon Gordon, who's a contact and a lead opportunity in my system. In this case, I can see that Brandon Gordon's requesting a certain number of units of some specific products that we offer. For context, Journey Team in my demo environment is a shoe company. So you can see here, I'm getting prompts to use Copilot so that I can engage with this customer in Outlook. So I'm gonna click Use Copilot now, and it's going to pop up on the right where you would traditionally see the normal Dynamics app for Outlook, and I am using Sales Copilot. So I, I'm getting some information from my CRM system over here on the right, as well as some AI capabilities as far as do I want to draft a response to this email related to these kind of pre-canned templates. So if I want to, let's say, you know what, I'm going to reply to this email. And again, you can open up Copilot whether or not you're in a reply for the email to kind of see some prompts. But if you are within a reply, now I also get the opportunity to save whatever I generate from AI to my email. So that's kind of a nice little tip and trick. So you can kind of get some, some ideas before you actually start replying, because you might not have time. So I'm gonna say, I want you to make a proposal for this email. And as it's preparing this response, I'm gonna show you as far as the, how does it capture the data and what do these highlighted blue links mean? So if I come up here at the top, so you can see I got my response here. If I click on Brandon, I can see that it is pulling data from my contact record from within Dynamics 365, which is pretty cool. So it's already giving me some dynamic content and it's showing me where that content is coming from. If I come down here and click Adidas Superstars, I can see that this is also sourced from an opportunity product inside of my CRM system. And we're gonna talk about that. That's not the actual product, but a line item on an opportunity. And it's also doing some math for me as far as the unit, so on and so forth. So don't let this deceive you, but if I click on this $4,500, it's not doing the math for me. Now, I know that there's a lot of capabilities that are gonna be coming to Sales Copilot in the future, as far as what tables, like how do we want to engage and use the AI and how do we point it at the tables that we are interested in, so on and so forth. But as it stands right now, it didn't do the math for me, but it is pulling from an opportunity product that I have inside of Dynamics. So I've already created an opportunity for Brandon and it's pulling the, the correct numbers as far as, hey, this is the number of units and uh, this would be the cost, so on and so forth. So you can see that a, you know where AI is going with these capabilities. Again, it is not called Pilot, it is called Copilot, which is kind of what Microsoft has explained is that it still needs to be reviewed, so on and so forth. But you can see the direction it's going, and this is really cool. And kind of like I said, is that I can come in here, I can adjust what I, how I want this content be, to be generated. So I can see that this is associated to an opportunity that I have inside of my CRM system called Everglade Tours. So I can change what data set that this is pulling from by clicking the change button. And I got a lot of different opportunities. So I can change what opportunity I want it to be, you know, pulling and sourcing as my data. I can add this content to my email and then I can adjust it from there, right? Now I can come in here and make all my kind of normal edits. I can also come over here and adjust the draft. So this is pretty cool because I can identify, hey, do I want this to be short, medium, long? What type of tone do I want? As, as well as are there suggested meeting times? And if you click I, it's giving you suggested meeting times based on your Outlook calendar, right? So it's automatically identifying what your availability is, which is pretty cool. I don't gotta go find a time that I'm available and then kind of offer that up to whoever I'm talking with as far as a potential meeting time. It's already doing some of that work for me. Here, you can also identify what language you want the AI to be using. So this is fairly new, but it is now available in English, Spanish, French, and German, when there's a lot more to come. As you can in other places with AI, is that maybe this didn't quite get you what you wanted, and you want it to offer a concession and a 10% discount. So 
so I can add additional details, update my content. Up here at the top in my title, now it says make a proposal plus offer concession and 10% discount. It's given me the breadcrumbs to let me know what I have done to receive the content that I have listed here in Sales Copilot. So I can see over here, we're gonna offer a one unit total price of $95 as a gesture of good faith and a 10% discount on both items. So you can see Copilot is adding and manipulating what we have done. And you see here, this 10% is, is bold, meaning that's content that AI specifically, like either we told it to go come up with that number or it came up with that number itself. For example, this one is also bolded. I can't click on that. If I do, like I can kind of see what one, a one line item looks like, but it's also kind of generating some of this content. So if you ever see some bolded words and information in the AI generated content, that could be one of the reasons why. And then I can also just restore last version, try again, start over. So that's how you can use the AI generative content from a sales copilot perspective, add it to your email, modify it and ship it off to your customers with your source data from your CRM system. Thanks.